Okay guys, we are ready to continue, and remember how I said uh, you might be able to um, get past here without promoting Silica? Actually, yes, you do need to promote Silica. Uh, I actually checked the floodgate, and this one you can't open until you have Silica promoted, which means you need to kill geese. So yeah, it actually does make, uh, make you uh, kill geese, and I actually forgot that, because apparently a tiara on your head makes everyone recognize you, because that's just the way things work. Uh, right, so ju just before we go back in, um, the chest over there, we'll be getting it. And we're, we'll be finishing the chapter as well, obviously. Um, right, so we go down here and there is our bonuses here. So let's see what we got. We got power. I believe the other one was XP, so I'm probably going to go for power. XP indeed. Right, so let's go for power. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to give this to, but let's have a look at our power ratings here. Alright, so boy sucks as a sage. Uh, S is doing okay, actually. Uh, she'll probably get a lot more when uh, she does get up a couple more levels. Sonia's doing okay. Uh, Jenny's fine, because she's a cleric or whatever, her saint now. Well, I'm gonna give one to Bowie and probably two to Sonia. I'm gonna give some to Sonia at least. Uh, should I give one to Est? I believe Est has a 50% growth, so I don't really see a point of giving any to her, especially since she's going to get up quite a few levels uh, when we do actually get uh, to to a place where we can grind. Now, boy, I believe his magic sucks, so let's give him one as well, and that is it for that. So two to Sonya, one to Bowie, not bad. Uh, right, so we talked to this guy, I believe, and he's like, yeah. Oh, oh no, wait a second, that is a tiara. I mean, like, maybe you mistake me for Marth or something, but yeah, anyway. He opens the floodgate, um, which pretty much means, uh, alright. Which pretty, pretty much means um, that Arm can now go and do his. No, you cannot exit this area uh, yet. You've got to flood the water here. Completely. So you gotta go exit. It kinda sucks how you have to exit and then go over to Elm's party, but whatever, it's just a slight time cons <laughs> consumption here. Right, so you go talk to this guy, he's gonna open the gate for you. And that's pretty much gonna be the end of chapter 3. Uh, pretty interesting. So, yeah, um, I don't believe I can save your game. Yes, I will save my game because I haven't actually done it in a while. So chapter 4, Dismal Nation, uh, you cannot walk over this, uh, you pretty much have to go round I believe, and an entire part, new part of the map is opened up, so um, let's go over this for a while, right, so um, basically Om um, can go up and attack this guy now, uh, this is Shazaz, which is a weird ass name, uh, so there's various places to go, you pretty much want to take a detour off to the right uh, straight away as I recall, or can you? Actually, you might want to, yeah, um, there's various things you could do, I guess, um, Shazaz here, um, you're gonna have to take out first, but, uh, Zeke and Jerome are having a fight over here, and you can actually get Zeke, so, uh, you might want to grab him, I don't know what specific order I'm gonna do this in, there's also a village here, one of the last, actually, uh, there is a village up here too, in the forest, Sage Village. Uh, what else we got? We got a couple guys over here. We got this uh, this demon slayer. Um, we got this witch boss, which isn't fun, as I recall. We got a shrine, and we got Nubaba, who is meant to be kind of the boss of this area up here. And then eventually we're going to go up here, uh, and we face a couple bosses here. Magnum, he has a lot of buddies. Uh, Muir, I remember this boss being extremely annoying because his forces mostly consist of Bow Knight, as I recall, and there's walls blocking everywhere. And lastly we have Rudolph, who is the boss of this side, basically, and he's a fucking... he's insane. He's... he's really tough. Um, okay, so that's it from our side. Uh, on some of his route, uh, it doesn't look as, like there is as much, but we'll get there. Garci here, or Garcia or whatever, he's just a normal shaman. We got another shaman here, this is Dolk. 
Uh, he's got a fort over here. Uh, we we have a forest that we're going to go through, which is where how we're going to get uh, all the grinding done, basically. I believe you can also... I believe you can promote here. I'm not entirely sure, though, so I may have to go back to the Dragon Shrine in order to promote. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, up here we have Jamil, who's fucking annoying. I mean, he has a thousand power. That's quite a lot. And lastly, we have Judah, who has only two units, apparently, but, you know. It's not going to be that easy, of course. So, um, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll I'll go to Silica's route first, because there is also some stuff that we can get here, and I'll do this before I forget. Because this stuff is just, like, like why would you do this, um, in terms of cryptic? So, basically... What you need to do, right, is you go up to the air, the guy's also gone. There is a there is a tile you can specifically walk through. Uh, most of these you cannot walk through. But this one here, you can walk through and you can go along. And you can keep going along, right? And get this. This guy, this guy, Noma, has the best recruitment ever. He's just like, um... I don't know what I'm here for, and he actually joins you because of that. So Sage Noma, so Noma, as I recall, his his growths are going to be ass, probably, and he's not very good himself. Yeah, he's pretty bad. He does have a few spells, but does Bo even have that much? I think he has the exact same as Bo actually. Or wait, does the boy does boy have Excalibur? Yeah, I think he does. Yeah, okay. So that was doing. He's not doing very well, <laughs> in all honesty. But whatever. Sonoma is not very good, as we can see. All right, so you can go through here, as you can see, and you see this tile up there. That's the point, same with what point you can go down at. So go down here, you will get to a staircase, and you will get this chest, and this will give you the magic ring. Now the magic ring, I believe, reduces, um, uh, it reduces magic damage to someone, actually, I'll, I'll actually go and do, um, arms route first, I think. I think. It reduces uh, magic ac ac accuracy to like 10%, I believe. So, yeah. Um, what title was it again? This one. Okay. I kind of know what I'm doing now. Right, okay. So, um, I was going to get uh, some of these stuff from Arm's Route, but uh, I could just do the first battle with Arm now, I guess. That bolt sword is still there. Because I don't have the angel ring or anything on here. Uh, so, I will go and do Om's battle first, and then we'll switch over to Silica. So I'm going to exit here. If you exit up the top, basically what will happen is you'll go into this first fight, which I don't want. Alright, so, uh, Om's new and improved party against Shazaz. Let us go. Alright. I probably maybe should have checked the order or priorities in my list, but or changed my items, but uh, a bit too fast there. Uh, this doesn't look terrible from what I first saw. Uh, we have no witches, which is good. Uh, we have a bunch of wizards, which is meh. And our boss, where is he? Shazaz, he is a gold knight, which is kind of scary, but he's not terrible. I mean, he's not, he's not great either. Right, so, uh, Ju has a priest with the dragon shield. Alright. GG game. Uh, Robin, the slayer who sucks. I probably should have given him the dark sword, but whatever. Matilda, gold knight. She has no item. I forgot to equip her with an item. Alright, she can just walk around here. The gold knight, how much movement do gold knights have? They have nine. Damn, son. And the Falconites have eight, so hmm, it's interesting. Uh, now you have what do you have? 
12 defense. Alright, uh, probably not the best idea to put you right up there, so we will not uh, look at it as a baron. <laughs> Whatever. Quiff as a sage. Even, I haven't had to rely on Terra Boy, like a lot, but, which is good, you know. Anyway, so now we see Bow Knights. Their, their horses seem kind of dead, but whatever. Well, as long as they're killing wizards, then I don't really care. Right in the eye. Oh. Alright, so most of my guys are pretty... are either from uh, third tier now, or um, are pretty much getting to third tier. Uh, like, for my two paladins here. Uh, I, can I promote Clive now? I don't think I can, but whatever. I'm just pretty much gonna not take part in most fights now from now on, uh, unless he needs to, because he is level 20. I just got him to level t 20 just because. I mean, there wasn't really any thought process behind that. I was just like, yeah, let's just get him to level 20 while I'm here. Because if you were fighting normally, you'd probably take a quite a long time in order to get up there. And this is horrible hit rate that Python's gonna have. And I don't think he's gonna hit either time. Either, either, whatever. Uh, they all gonna attack him, I guess. <laughs> well, they're doing seven damage per attack, so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I like how it just looks like the arrow just like flies over the uh, character sprite. It's just like, alright. Makes total sense. Alright, so we got some knights. Magic. I have magic anyway, so whatever. And we have an archer, which is slightly more... A sniper, I mean. has slightly more annoying, but uh, nothing too bad. One damage. That is fantastic. So Jute is going to wreck face here, uh, pretty much. Remember, she has Ragnarok as well, and she learned it quicker than Silica, so yeah. I'm not going to bust out the Ragnarok, though. There's not really any point, especially when, you know, there's no real threat here. The only threat I would have is killing myself with Ragnarok, because it costs 10 HP. Which is mm, quite a steep price, but... Technically, you're pretty much going to do, like, 30 damage at least. I think later on, it's actually quite a good strategy to use on Rudolph, because uh, he's a fucking beast. As I recall, his defense is, like, insane. Anyway, this paladin's attacking me up close, which is not a very good idea either, because, uh, you know, the power still counts here, so yeah, bye-bye. In fact, I wouldn't even need to attack these knights with uh, fire or whatever, because I could just slash at them, and it probably would kill them, in all honesty. They have decent um, HP, and that, that 80 XP, man. Alright, so now we're wrecking phase, pretty much. Uh, I've probably done too much grinding on arms route, but whatever, man. We are going to kill the sniper so easily. Um, look at that poor defense. Oh well. I don't know if I'll be able to kill the knights in one round. Or, yeah, they're knights, okay. <laughs> they might have a bit too much defense. Because, you know, 22 damage is a decent amount, but... Well, 100? Really? Are you kidding me? Alright, whatever. Luck! She doesn't really need luck, but whatever. Alright, uh, Robin has, has this. Does he have the angel ring on? Yes, he does. Well, he has 40 lock, and therefore, GG hitting. Guys. Pretty much, like, the, the magic ring is just slightly better than 40 lock, because it looks like they have about 15% hit there with um, Dora. I don't know what Dora's hit rate is, actually. Alright, Matilda. Um, my, my, my favoritism is showing, clearly. She's not... Amazing, but she's pretty good, you know, for a le for a level one gold knight. She's pretty good, and here is what a gold knight looks like. Fucking awesome, and they twirled her once, so you know, that's always nice.
Also green for some reason. I don't know. It looks kind of cool, but just like green, really. Whatever, this guy is dead. So dead. And I'm not getting I'm not really getting that much XP for him. Which isn't really that surprising in all honesty. Right, okay, um let's Excalibur this guy because why not? And I believe that'll take him out. I assume Cliff is doubling. Yep. Alright. Alright, so that annoying sniper's out of the way. Uh, if anyone attacks Cliff, they're pretty dead, I would imagine. And he's got more defense. This guy has 17 defense. I mean, like... I believe you, Mina, <laughs> my FE12 finished up with uh, 16 or 17 defense. As a, as a bishop, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Mage Cliff, or Sage Cliff over here I should say, breaking it, <laughs> breaking the game. Alright, so Luca's actually not doing that much against these knights, but that is to be expected, I mean they are knights. Um, magic's really the only quick way to deal with them, and I think I'll pretty much speed this up a little now since we are getting pretty, pretty you know, we're getting into the fight a bit more. Uh, I'm actually going to attack with Claire, which is probably a bad move because I'm only doing one damage, but whatever. They'll probably all attack her. And uh, I don't really care. Okay, um, Silk. Okay, um, Force is a Baron who's going to come up here. Uh, I'm going to get a Grey level, hopefully, if he can hit. Um, he might not be able to actually. Ow, nine. Jeez, man. Okay, he managed to hit. And he did just get a level, which is HP, of course. Uh, it just it just never works out, does it? Now, you can choose to use Angel, which I probably should have in that occasion, but whatever. I get lucky with Nosferatu anyway. <laughs> 100 XP. Right, so I don't believe Silk actually gets anything else, uh, yeah. So if I didn't want to get XP for people, I pretty much would just uh, unleash Illusion, which will let me pretty much, well, it pretty much lets me roll this map at least, because, um, remember I told you Demon Fighters, uh, <laughs> that's, that's just not going to go well for anyone involved. Uh, I have the Prayer Ring here. Uh, I will use Recover on Grey. Oh, that is Clive. Fuck. Whatever then. God damn it. Mix these two up. Alright, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to probably take more than one video. Probably all the battles are going to take more than one video from now on because generally they're just, they're just long. Um, it's just, you're pretty much going to be fighting at 20 units mostly. I mean, for Silica's route, they actually have quite a bit less in the battles, but Om's gonna go through the share to get to Rudolph. Like, it's ridiculous. And uh, these knights suck. Well, they don't suck, because they're only taking 16 damage here from you, but whatever. Or dying. That too. So, 98 XP. I'm not kidding with this. It just works. Yeah, power. More power. Like, she needed that. <laughs> It just works based on, I don't know, it's just, it, I mean, it must just be level, like, because she's a level 1 or 2, it's easier for her to gain level. 39 XP from just damaging that guy, are you serious? It's ridiculous. I guess it's because these guys are level 5, um, maybe it's because she's a mage and she's attacking a Moe guy and doing quite a bit of damage. I don't know. I probably should look into the XP rolls, in all honesty. But yeah, she's not going to stay as a level... I think she's level 4 now, for very long. Alright, so Claire's probably going to get the worst <laughs> of these uh, three guys attacking her, but whatever. I can just fly her out of there if it's too much. And she probably is. Hey, criticals, man. I was doing three damage as opposed to one. This chip, man. Alright, so she's gonna she'd probably die next turn if I didn't move her, so either kill these guys or you know, just take her uh, just take her out of there. Uh, right, so Matilda, uh 
We're gonna get Matilda in here, because gold dice are fucking awesome, as we've established. I probably should pull her out there and get some magic in there. I don't know why I didn't send magic over there in the first place, honestly, but, eh. The things I do. What we all do, though, is we will break the game. Once again. Like, I'm breaking the game quite a lot, haven't you noticed? Uh, right, okay, I... I don't know, I'll move you over here, I guess. Whatever, Clive can take a shot at these guys with these star ones. I forgot I gave him the star ones, actually. So yeah, Clive can take that guy And then we can have free reign to use Illusion here, which costs 12 HP, remember. And yeah. They call them mists. Uh, they call them mists for the uh, soldiers as well. But yeah, their stats are not bad. They pretty much make the very good, um, just general, uh, like either a staller or just general killer, honestly. Because they can take out some units very easily. Alright, so I'm thinking that I'm about to end the video soon. Uh, what I'm pretty much going to do is I'm going to take out this guy here with fire. So dead. Uh, get another level for Duke. She is level 5. Get more power. She's got 32 power. And remember, I'm not affecting that all. All she has is the Dragon Shield. Uh, which is good. You know, I'm not I'm not going to say, you know, the Dragon Shield sucks. Because it doesn't. At all. But, uh, yeah, her defense is not great without it. But, whatever. Really. Can we get double? Yeah! Wow, I was just surprised. I've managed to hit both times there. Uh, right, okay, um... Unfortunately, Ryoto cannot move into one range, but he can try and cast Lightning, and pfft, critical, okay. Alright, Ryoto is okay, I guess, but I don't think he's fantastic still. Uh, right, so pretty much... What does Alma actually have? He has the Regal Sword. Right, anyway. That'll be the end of this video, and we're going to finish up the Shazaz fight after this.